Catholicism, the Catholic faith, and science are two ways of making sense of the world. Uh, they're not opposed. They both have the same goal, but approaching it from different directions to make sense of reality. And uh, there's nothing in modern science that's in conflict with the Catholic faith. And uh, uh, historically, the Catholic Church has not been opposed to or in conflict with uh, science, but quite the contrary. Uh, uh, as one eminent historian of science said, uh, the Catholic Church has probably been the largest uh, and longest term patron of scientific research in history. Um, something that's little known, uh, even among many historians, is uh, the, the, the tremendous uh, contribution to science made not only by Catholics, uh, but by Catholic priests. Uh, entire branches of science uh, were founded by Catholic priests. The Big Bang Theory was uh, the, the originator, the person who proposed the Big Bang Theory was a Belgian Catholic priest and scientist named Georges Lemaitre. Uh, uh, Mendel was the founder of genetics, and one can go on and on, the founder of acoustics, uh, one of the founders of modern astrophysics. Um, uh, Angelo uh, Secchi was a Jesuit priest. So uh, many branches, entire branches of science were founded by Catholic clergy. This is not something that's widely known. The, the, the main thesis of, of my book, Modern Physics and Ancient Faith, is that up to about 100 years ago, there, there were discoveries in science which many people saw as pointing away from a religious picture of the universe, of, of man, of our place in the universe, um, and supporting a materialistic view, uh, a scientific materialism rather than uh, religious belief. Uh, but it, in the 20th century, there were a number of major discoveries or trends in, in discovery, which can be argued to point the other way, which actually uh, point more in a, to a picture of reality that conforms with, with traditional Christian belief.